men and women of Reddit who caught their significant others cheating. How did you do that? And what was your reaction? My ex-husband and his family smoked a lot of pot, still do. His sister, kids, and nanny were visiting from out of state for a few weeks. When it was time to fly home they left their stash at my ex Mills house because they didn't want to take it on the plane. My ex asked if I would pick it up because I was nearby. Stupidly I agree. I don't smoke and I was willing to carry it in my car for him. To my surprise I found a note from the nanny to my ex saying she was in love with him and she was so happy for the time they had together. Obviously she thought he would get the weed instead of me. While it was incredibly painful at the time I am definitely living my best life 15 years later. Mi ex-husband was an early adopter of sending pics. I got his phone to get the numbers of his friends to invite them to a surprise birthday party while he was sleeping off a hangover, and there they were in his outbox. ETA this was more than 12 years ago. When camera phones were barely functional. Wife was acting unusual for a few weeks. She would want to spend time by herself on the weekends and when she came home at night from work she would often sit in the driveway for 20 minutes on the phone. I'm not dumb. I bought a voice activated digital recorder and stuck it in her car. I knew what I needed to know in less than 24 hours. I was in the Navy and was out on deployment for 6 months after just recently getting engaged, it's one of those stupid things that young military guys do. One day I get a letter from my fiancé's best friend telling me that she caught my fiancé and her BF together. This was years before email and smartphones were common. We write back and forth several times and eventually it comes out how she caught them, how my fiancé begged her not to tell me, and that the fiancé didn't know that we were corresponding. I eventually get back to the States and plan to play it off as though I didn't know, but too many of my friends intercepted me with the news that it wasn't just the one guy, but several, and let me know that she knew that I was aware. Eventually we met, and the confrontation was minimal and tame. We broke off the engagement without a lot of drama, she kept the ring. The best friend and I ended up hooking up, at first as sort of a revenge kind of thing, but turned serious. We celebrate our 32nd wedding anniversary this year. Edit, maths. This year will be 31. After 20, it's all a blur. I had some really good friends in the next town over where my girlfriend lived, and they figured it out for me. They were super gentle about it, and patient with me through my denial. Same thing happened with me. My best friend was friends with my GF and her roommates. Word got to my friend about her bringing some dude home after a party and my friend eventually spilled to me. As she said I really don't want to tell you this and I know this will crush you, but I can't keep this from you. After she dropped the bomb I was like hell no. That would never happen. And then I confronted by GF about it that night who broke down and confessed everything. I stayed with that girl for another 7 months and God bless my friend for sticking by my side and supporting the whole way. When I finally ended things, my best friend was still there to support me and care for me. Also haven't dated anyone for longer than 6 months since that happened 7 years ago. Edit, thanks for the love friends. I'm doing well. It was a rough few years at first but I've found my joys and hobbies and have gotten comfortable with myself. I've learned to love myself and enjoy the life I have. If a lady wants to join me on the adventure, that's great. But I'm happy with who I am and where I am. Love you all. My ex was a big drinker and I wasn't. She would frequent this bar close to our place pretty often with friends. I rarely went because I just wasn't a fan of bars or her drinking friends. One night she went out with a couple that I didn't mind that much. I was bored at home so I decided to head over for a little bit. As I walk in I see my ex sitting at the bar with the couple. The bar was packed and as soon as I made eye contact my ex she had this strange look on her face. She turns to this guy sitting next to her, and he immediately gets up and leaves. I felt something strange right away, but I brushed it off as me being irrational. I stayed for like an hour and headed home. I couldn't shake the feeling I had though so I checked one of her friend's Facebook page to see if there was any connection that existed between my ex and this random dude. Sure enough he was friends with one of my ex's friends. I knew his name now and that I wasn't as crazy as I thought. I sat on the information though. The next weekend she goes out drinking again and still had not returned home at 4am. I tried contacting her multiple times and I got no response. I woke up to her coming home at 7am and jumping in the shower immediately. I decided to check her phone while she was in the shower, and she kept all of the messages with this same guy. Some pretty telling information in the text thread. While she was still showering I grabbed a fresh pair of clothes and headed to my best friend's house. 20 minutes later I get a phone call with her going ape about me leaving and not saying anything. I laughed at the projection, told her that if she wasn't moved out by Monday the police would be there to force her out.
She wasn't on the lease and her parents lived 10 minutes away from me. That was that. She confessed to her mom. Then mother-in-law called her other daughter and told her. Sister-in-law then called me and told me, she let me listen in on a three-way call to her mom and tried to convince mom to tell me but she refused which basically confirmed it. He went to Hawaii for a business trip without his wife and kids. Like a good wife, I packed his clothes before he left and unpacked his dirty laundry when he returned home. I found a tiny pair of white cotton panties, no lace, in his suitcase. He had recently dropped a lot of weight, greater than 100 pounds, and played it off that he had bought them for himself. They had no label and were simple bikinis so theoretically could have been men's as well. It did sort of explain the pretty brunette that followed him off the plane at the airport and kept looking at my kids and I at the luggage carousel, wanting to make his side piece come face to face with his wife and kids. I made sure he wore those panties at least once a week for the remaining few months we were together, I set out his clothes every day and he couldn't protest. It wasn't a big damn breaking moment. It was a lot of little things. Like how she'd cancel plans at the last second. Or the random phone calls from unknown numbers she'd get, this was back before spam calls were an epidemic, or how her phone was mysteriously off one night when I needed to get a hold of her. I had my suspicions and then finally it clicked into place when I did some Instagram snooping and found a guy who followed her who posted a selfie wearing a very unique jacket that belonged to her. I confronted her the next day. She denied it. Tears. Begging. All of that. I dumped her and walked away. The next day I messaged the guy on Instagram and he confirmed everything. Had no idea I existed. He dumped her too. Last I heard she's an EMT in Utah, Wyoming. Hope she figured out how not to be a garbage person. Four years ago I was dating a girl who became distant and disinterested in a lot of things we both enjoyed together. Despite attempts to talk about it, she only grew more distant then became less available to hang out and suddenly was working late a lot. I started getting suspicious about cheating when she was on her phone nonstop. Again I tried to talk about it but she wouldn't engage. She also just didn't want to break up with me for whatever reason. I was actually going to end it on my own, but one weekend when she was seemingly unavailable, some mutual friends told me they spotted her with a dude from her work and they were all over each other. Coincidentally, she had also lent me her iPad and it was synced to her phone so I saw lots of texts between those two over that weekend. They were talking about running away together, etc. He was married and her supervisor. Mutual friends were also composed of her co-workers and reported them to HR. They were both forced to do training on not sleeping with co-workers, they were both denied promotion, his wife left him, and she moved overseas. Sucked at the time, I was devastated, but karma got them good.